Hey folks, how's it going? This is Iron Seagull here, and I'm back with another mod overview. Cue the happy jingle music. <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is a little bit different because I have actually been uh, lucky enough to get early access for this mod. This is called the Sims 4 Tropical Getaway Mod Pack, and it is officially launching on August 7th, and this mod is made by a small team led by the Simply Nando. And yeah, basically what this mod pack does is uh, you will need outdoor retreat because it basically renovates the textures and uh, plants of Granite Falls to be more of a tropical beach sort of place instead of like the deep woods. And, yeah, like this is pretty cool. This is this might be just the most detailed mod I've ever seen for The Sims 4. This is pretty nice. Like there's even they even changed the background where you have like the volcanoes and stuff. That's just like whoa. A lot of uh, attention to detail with this and lots of sand everywhere and the very uh, blue water that reminds me of Isla Paradiso from The Sims 3. And of course, I will leave the uh, social media links uh, for Simply Nando, as well as the uh, trailer for uh, the Spod Pack as well. And yeah, let's just take a little look around at this. So I didn't change any of the lots. So the mod doesn't do that. It doesn't change any of the lots, but you do just install it like any other mod. You just put uh, everything into the mods folder and you're set to go. And some other things that are changed as well that I'll show real quick is if you go to map view, the art is also changed. Where, um, it's kind of hard to see since you can't really see it all in full color just because of the way the game is. You can see there is, uh, the silhouette of the mascot in the middle. It has a surfboard. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And yeah, there's like all the palm trees and such. Then also, if you go here, see they also changed the icon. And then uh, you can see this little scroll thing, and then there's the boat going. Rrrr! It's just like <laughs> angrily vibrating because it wants to go fast like Sonic the Hedgehog or something. I don't know. And yeah, this does affect all areas of Granite Falls, but the main point of attraction is uh, definitely uh, this area with the campground. On all of the rental lots since uh, this mod actually used to be called Life is a Beach, but yeah, now it's called the Tropical Getaway. So yeah, just you could uh, could just experience life on the beach. So I have my Sim Ian son here, which I didn't even realize how well that last name actually works for this video until after I chose him. But what's also interesting about this mod is that there's some new uh, build stuff as well. I was just like taken off guard. I was like, wait, I thought it was just like some like default texture replacement mod, almost like the autumn mod. But no, there's some new objects as well. So I'm going to filter this and go to custom content. And yeah, I've already laid out some of these uh, items right here. So there's this painting, which is really nice. It, it just looks so official. Uh, then you have uh, this recolor as well. It's kind of random art, but really nice looking. And then you also have, uh, yeah, this is like the, uh, the outdoor retreat mascot <laughs> with sunglasses and the surfboard. And there's some uh, different swatches too. Like there's this one. Then there's this one with the seagulls, yay! And then uh, there's this one, which I think is actually my favorite. This looks like concept art. I feel like I've seen this somewhere before. Maybe it was Sims 3 concept art. Maybe The Sims 4, but I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, definitely feeling some sort of memory out of this one, but I don't know. Uh, then you also have this uh, couch here. Which looks a lot like something out of Perfect Patio, but it actually is a separate object. Fortunately, there's no recolors for it, but yeah, it looks like it's definitely made to go in a beach setting. Then you also have this rug here, which is very tropical. It has some different colors, so that's pretty neat too. 
then there's also this uh, cover you could put on your uh, foundation. I'm actually just going to switch over to build mode real quick so you can see the catalog entry for it. Wait. Wait. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, the thatched foundation. Perfect for your tropical foundations. And there are some new trees as well. There's this palm tree right here, the Washington palm. Then there's this desert fan palm that's really tall. And then you have this gargantuan willow tree right over here in the corner, if I can grab it. Yeah, the weeping willow tree. And I think that... Oh, wait, no. Hold on. I have to go back to the build, though, because... I couldn't really fit them too well initially, but there's also these converted skylight pieces from that skylight studio for the performing arts venue from the Sims 3 store. Uh, Cinderella Mouse actually converted these, which is uh, pretty darn awesome. I'll just place all of these. Obviously, you would it'd be meant to be placed on the roof to get the full effect, but I'll just show the different pieces. Lots and lots of different pieces. Whoa! Just place them all over the place. Uh, I already placed that one. Uh, I already placed that one. I think. Wait. Ah! I have lost track of which ones I've placed and which ones I haven't placed. This one I have not placed for sure. And then that one. Uh, and I think that's all of them. And you can recolor them too, pretty sure. Yeah! Lots of different colors too, which is, uh, which is pretty neat. They all have the same colors. Okay. Uh, you know what? I think I'm just going to do a little bit of gameplay as well so I can advance this a little bit past the morning hours so you can also see what this looks like during like midday and like the afternoon. Maybe even nighttime. Maybe if we can uh, get to that. So let's have Ian fish. Go fishing. Man, this, this mod even more so, like, makes me want to just swim in that water, like, ah, darn it, please, please, Maxis, I'm begging of you, somehow, even if it's like The Sims 2's beach lots, just, I want swimming in the ocean, somehow. <laughs> Alright, Ian, run, 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 gotta go fast. And there we go. Yeah, cast cast into that water. Maybe I'll actually take a picture. This is like H, H off. Wait. Why didn't that work? Oh well. Uh, that's cool. And then let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, he caught a log! <laughs> There's still eagles flying around, which is cool. I like the eagles. And I just saw a duck. <laughs> I just saw a duck float through the through the terrain. That's not really anything to do with the mod, but I still found that really funny. We caught a perch. And uh, one other thing I really wish we could do is like just create custom worlds because, yeah, this is a default replacement. It does not add like a new version of Granite Falls, per se. It's just like replacing the default one. And then if you want the, uh, the like the actual outdoor treat one back, then you can take the mod out and then you can put it back in whenever you please. But yeah, it'd be cool if we were able to just like have uh, both of them in our game at once. That'd be nice. Because I really do want a tropical world in this game. All right, so yeah, here's how it looks with lighting a little bit later in the day. Ian is happy, which is good. He's really enjoying this tropical paradise. Then, yeah, I got some more clear water over here, so it does change the streams as well. Uh, oh, there's another sim. Oh, that guy was named Austin Ferguson, I think. Yeah, this guy appears in my game a lot. Um... Yeah, there isn't really too much else to talk about, but it's definitely a very, uh, very well done mod. Like, I didn't even think it was possible 
to change like the map view art or be able to like just change all of the plants or change like the uh, icon of the worlds in map view like wow that's really surprising <laughs> oh boy you've you've got a well not too long a walk <laughs> to the washrooms but still kind of caught a base but uh yeah since this is an early access version that i have here some things are subject to change there's uh any bugs that need to be fixed but i haven't run into any bugs at all myself so i don't think y'all have anything to worry about when this uh comes out on august 7th all right the sun is starting to set Ooh, we caught a crawdad nice Hopefully those ducks are enjoying this mod as well. Do, 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 do. Yeah, even like even the darker hours, this still looks really cool. Just having this beach setting. I'm really hoping that uh, Maxis will definitely hear us on the front of just wanting another, or not another. We don't even have a beach world yet, but just getting a beach world into The Sims 4. I mean, it's like, wow, we, we have, like, this small community team that actually went ahead and did this themselves for Grand Falls. Like, wow. <laughs> and there we go. That's, that's pretty much it for, for this mod. So, yeah, I definitely recommend downloading this if you want a little, uh, little change for your game. To be honest, I've actually, like, barely played The Sims 4 after Backyard stuff. Like, I've just done those lot showcases and... Uh, some episodes of Let's Run a Restaurant, but yeah, this almost makes me want to play Outdoor Tree a little bit more again, just so uh, I can just have a little bit of change, some really cool things going on in my game. But uh, yeah, uh, be sure to leave a like or a comment or even subscribe, whatever you like doing. Just let me know that you like my channel, my videos, and it's helps you keep up to date more easily the latest content for me including the latest uh uh let's play zemo slash thoughts videos wow he peed himself um any other uh, mod overviews uh, that i'll do in the future and of course i will leave uh, a link to go download this in the video description below and yeah i will talk to you later guys and have a great day thanks for watching and just just be sure to not enjoy the beach so much they end up peeing yourself because that's not a pleasant experience for anybody.